Yeah. Style and know. So, what's up guys? Another bleak day here in London. I actually just got back from Plymouth because I had a two day shoot with Mo over there. Then a couple days before that I was in Birmingham for body power. Anyways, right now I'm heading off to my gym because I'm about to hit a workout with Ryan Casey. So him and I have been talking online for like a couple months and obviously we got to meet each other at body power. One thing led to another but um, right now we're gonna go hit a workout and then after that I'm gonna take him to the Athlete HQ because he has a meeting with Sean, the owner. So just give him a tour of the place and uh, kind of make him feel at home here in London. Uh, can I get a fancy Americano? With milk? Black? Uh, black, please. My pre-workout carbs and my pre-workout caffeine. Now it's just time for Ryan Casey to get on his way. By the way, you know my gym has like a jungle gym in it? It's pretty cool, like a nice lounge area. But if I ever want to like let my inner child out, then I can always just go play in there. Is that Ryan Casey at my gym? What's up? <laughs> so guys, we're here with Sean. Just uh, do guys? a flex off with himself. <laughs> uh, here is Sean. Here with Ryan, um, we're actually gonna jump out into, or jump into a workout edit, so you wanna cue that? In three, two, one. <laughs> That workout. Now I'm just waiting on a certain Ryan Casey to hurry the hell up so we can go to this meeting with athlete. Oh, Let's get it. Thank you. Sean, it was fate. I knew you would find this place. Yes. This is, this healthy, is like my favorite. Healthy food, baby. Chicken <laughs> avocado bacon. Can I get that as well as the muscle builder salad? This and? Muscle builder salad. Must be the large yeah. one? The large piece. Thanks. Boom. Easy. Apple Pay lifesaver. Alright, I'll learn. <laughs> the true Ryan Casey exposed. Oh, looking at the donuts? Yeah. It's all just a facade. There's no healthy eating. There's no healthy, there's no healthy eating. Post workout donut. That's a really tight, that's a tight shot. Look at that. That was pure beauty right there. It's cloudy, man. What's up, man? Hey. How's it going? Hey, you guys made it. Yeah. Oh, how you doing? Good, good. Good, good. How's it finding London? Awesome, man. Yeah, I just love, we explored some by like the London Bridge. Sorry, let's just take a seat. Yep. Why you better get that little page up on Ryan? We're ready, we're ready. Awesome, man. That, isn't that shot awesome? Ryan, what do you think of the offices? It's really professional, man. I really just like everyone. Everyone's just like working together as a team. So, it's really cool. It's a good vibe. What about you, Sean? It's chill, man. I, I love it, man. <sighs> Creating the vision. We show people how it would be inside the app, so <laughs> that's actually how a workout plan is presented inside. He was on 140,000 followers, now he's on 460. Wow. He's gone a lot of transformations. So I think it's like it's right now. Like I, I see. That's why I've been talking to Ryan, especially the last six months. It's it's time to go to that next level to bring the brand into a, a, a business. Yeah. He wants to make a YouTube video, which is going to be at the top, kind just explaining. That. Yes. Hey guys, what explain saying to you? Hey guys, what's up? Like that way back. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. For sure. Ryan Casey. Yeah. Thank you. 
So guys, meeting all done. Mama Gaji right there in the background. Say hi. Hello. Anyways, yeah, meeting all done. Went very well. Uh, discussed with Sean, owner of Athlete Plan, going forward um, in terms of my marketing agency, their marketing, and my involvement with the company and more of like a sort of advisor position, um, networking position. Anyways. Really good meeting. Right now, I have, I'm actually like super, super, my, my day got pushed forward. I'm super, super late to go see one of my other clients, but um, that's cool. It's fine. Uh, we pushed it forward. So I have around 40 minutes. I want to go sort out this mess, which is my hair right now. So that's what we're going to go do. Let's get it. So guys, we're back at OS Barbers, the only barbers that I trust with my thick ass hair. They give out free beer. Obviously, you guys know I barely ever drink alcohol, but um, why not? A little light beer with my haircut, never hurts. They are based out in, or not out, they're based in South Kensington, so if you guys want free beer, a gold AK-47, and the best barber money can buy, OS Barbers, it's on Fulham Road. Definitely would recommend. There it is, nice little trim. I asked for the four week trim, and he delivered. So guys, time to end off this vlog. It has been a long day to say the least. I don't know what the future of this YouTube is. I don't know how sporadic my uploads and stuff will be because things are just like going at a crazy rate that I never would have imagined. I think I dropped out of school around like eight weeks ago, like two months ago, maybe like 10 weeks ago. Honestly, it has not been long. And ever since then, I think it's just been the best decision I've ever decided to make. For me personally, that is because it's just giving me so much time and so much leverage to go out and build up this business. Also, it is scary as hell. Look, I mean, guys, I'm 17 years old. I've just hired my first employee. My second employee is coming on board in August. Like, I'm 17 years old, and by the end of this year, I, I, I'm running a six-figure business. And I never would have imagined if you told me that even, like, two, three months ago. I would have thought you were ridiculous. I mean... I have high ambitions, but a six-figure business, that's pretty ridiculous. Um, and I'm just so excited as to who's coming on board. People like Ryan Cow, first of all, and then a couple others that I can't confirm as of yet, but I'm just, I just have plans to change the game. And even you look at my client base, I've just signed a couple companies, Fuero Systems, Zebra Fuel, a couple others that are like, right at the, um, we just have to, I have to sign over the contract, they have to sign it, and they'll start next month as well, so like, I just have so many clients that I'm, I'm so excited and interested in, and I'll go the extra mile for them, because they reflect me as a person, and that's the exact same thing with my employees, I'm gonna have like the silent rule in, in my marketing agency, where like, I don't want anyone over 30, like, I don't care if you've been to the best marketing school, or the best business school, if you haven't proven yourself in the real world, if I haven't seen that you could do it with your personal brand, you're just not a part of my company. My first employee and the other few that I know are coming on board, they have they have disgusting work ethics. Like we're all just so driven, so passionate, and um I'm just getting a team together right now. And twenty seventeen, I mean, everyone talks about twenty seventeen being their year. I think I've made it mine so far, but it is the only the start and Honestly, your guys' support means the world to me. I put a lot of time, I actually put a lot of money in terms of opportunity cost, in terms of getting equipment, videographers, uh, to actually help me out with projects. I put a lot of time into my personal brand, a lot of time and a lot of money, and I lose a lot of money because of it. So if you guys like the content that I'm putting out, if it uh, helps you in any way, please leave a like, because it, it honestly really, really does help. Um, honestly, not so much for analytics, not so much for search engine optimization, or just to like keep my morale up and um, you know the nights where I'm getting virtually zero sleep that'll keep me going and that'll keep me editing so that's about it been my long-winded rant right here at the end as I said if you enjoyed please leave a like I'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>